These are just small samples from one of our claims. This ore assays anywhere from a couple grams per ton up to an ounce, but an average is probably about 17 to 19 grams per ton. This is from a past producing VMS mine. You have gold, silver, copper, lead, zinc, cadmium. So what we wanted to do is just crush this See if there's anything notable in here, any free mill gold. First batch here done. All right, there we go. We got our sulfides and our minerals in there. Let's take this in and see what we get. We're out here by a nearby creek. And we got our first little bit. I separated it into half because I want to actually do some analysis on the other half. So this is half the material. And uh, we've already had an assay done on this material and uh, there's some good gold, good silver, good copper, a little bit of lead and zinc. This is from a Kuroko VMS deposit. And uh, I'm going to pan this out. I don't think we're going to find anything in the pan because this material is something you'd have to process chemically. What we want to do is rinse the pan off first. We'll pour our material in and we'll see if we can find anything that's... Um, decent show. The other thing too is when you actually have this material it's crushed so finely that a lot of it actually just floats out with the water. So if you take a look you can see all that's just floating right on the surface. You go over it with water and it barely gets wet. So we're gonna lose a lot of stuff here and that's kind of a given. Which is why you don't necessarily want to crush and pan everything because you could still have gold in it but it just doesn't show up in the pan and that's just because that's not how you properly process certain kinds of ores. See, it's just impossible to, to break up. You can see all this floating on the water. The surface tension is just sulfides. And even if you use something like Jet Dry, it's not going to break the surface tension of some sulfides. So I just want to get it down to a layer where we can see what's in the bottom of the pan. Should be able to see something if there is anything. Nice calco pyrite on there. And just as I thought, you got nothing showing. There's definitely some value so if you guys crush and pan your ores don't necessarily just throw everything out because there is still value a lot of the times
if you come across a vein that's so deteriorated that there's barely any mineral, that's the time when you want to specifically crush it because all your iron sulfides have broken down, leaving any free elements like gold. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm taking my sulfides. Let's get home. Thanks for watching. Peace.